hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is simone and before we get into this video please make sure you like comment and subscribe so you can join the family and yeah so as you can see by the title today i'm doing a fall edition get ready with me for a cute little date night or whatever you know <laughs> so obviously i'm starting off with hair and i wasn't really sure how i wanted to wear it i know i wanted to do a bun but i just didn't know if i wanted to do a side part or middle part so I actually text my friend Keisha and let her decide because you know I'm kind of indecisive sometimes So obviously she said side part so that's what I'm doing now and instead of doing just like a straight part I'm doing it kind of curved because I want to do a swoop so I'm doing a swoop side part slick back bun yeah <laughs> so yeah that's why my part is kind of curved instead of straight Right now I'm just going through my hair with this dimming brush and just making sure everything is detangled before I actually pull it back because girl I have learned the hard way do not put your hair in a bun or a ponytail without detangling because that is just detrimental so I'm just taking this this <laughs> I'm just taking this uh, TGIN conditioner and just working it through my hair to make sure everything is moisturized um, even though I'm putting it up in a bun, you know, still make sure your hair is nice and moisturized and everything so it's not crunching when you take it down. <laughs> and now I'm just taking a scrunchie and I'm not going to keep it like this this is just so I can have everything pulled back while I lay it down with the gel and of course I'm using my favorite eco style gel the green one which is the olive oil and I'm just laying everything down and then going in with this bristle brush just to make sure everything is smooth and then I'm going to go in with another scrunchie and put it in the actual ponytail. So now I'm just wrapping it up into a bun and then I'm going to secure that with a scrunchie but I think I didn't show that part. 
yeah so just get right to me doing my baby hair and i'm just going in with the same eco style gel and just laying down my edges some more and i didn't do too much because i already have a swoop on one side so i wasn't trying to go too crazy with the baby hairs so i'm just laying them down and just making sure everything is neat and then also going back and laying down some of the flyaway hairs because my hair just i don't know it just don't be doing right so after i was done with my hair i did wash my hands before we moved into makeup and i'm gonna give y'all a disclaimer now even though i don't have to i'm not a makeup artist i'm not a professional i just do what i like on me so yeah Oh yeah, and this is when I realized that one of my brushes was actually broke. I don't know how that happened, but yeah. So I had already filled in my brows off camera. So right now I'm just going in with my Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And this is actually the exact same color as me. So that's why it looks like I'm not putting anything on when I actually am. But I like to use my foundation to clean up my brows instead of a concealer because... I don't know, I just don't really like that look on me personally. Other people... It looks okay, but for me, I just don't like it. So, yeah, I'm just going in with my foundation just to clean up my brows at the top. But then under, I actually use a concealer. So, yeah, right here. So, this is actually the LA Pro Girl Concealer. Everybody knows what concealer this is. And this is in the shade Almond. Yeah, Almond. So now I'm going in with the same foundation and the same concealer, but I'm actually mixing them together and I'm going to kind of do like a spot correct on my face. I don't like to go in with the full face of found, wait, full face of foundation. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't like to do a full face of foundation because I don't know. I just don't really like that look on myself. So I like to just spot correct wherever I have like dark marks or, you know, hyperpigmentation. So I'm just correcting those spots and then, yeah, just to kind of give my face an overall even tone and then go from there. I'm basic with makeup.
So now I'm just going to go in with this banana powder by Revolution. And I got this some time ago, so the label is completely gone. But I'm just going to use this to set anywhere where I've used the concealer to kind of highlight my face. Um, I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to let it sit for a couple of seconds. And yeah, I put way too much and I scared myself. So <laughs> I ended up wiping some of it off and just let it sit for a couple of minutes. So now I'm going to go in with this bronzer and this is by Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Mocha Mommy. And I'm just going to go in with a little of this. Not too much because I'm not trying to look like, I don't know. But <laughs> I'm just going in with a little bit just to add some color back into my face. Because I don't want to look like a ghost because that's not cute. So yeah, I'm just going in with a little of this. So now I'm just going back with the same flat brush that I used for my foundation and just wiping away the rest of that banana powder. And then I'm going to use the same brush and just kind of blend everything out and make sure there's no harsh lines where the banana powder and the bronzer meets just to make sure everything is nicely blended together. So now I'm going to go in and line my lips and as you can see this is one of my favorite lip liners and I'm just upset because I don't remember where I got this from and I'm probably not going to find it again and I know I can probably just use like any brown lip liner but you know when you find what works for you you want to keep using it so I got to find this again. Now I'm just going to go in with this NYX Butter Gloss and this is in the shade Madeline and this is one of my favorite lip combos to do. I love like a dark brown liner with a new lip gloss. So cute. So of course one lip gloss was just not enough shine for me so I had to go back in and just add a little extra. I thought this lip gloss was mine but it was not. I guess I don't know if I stole it from my mama or she just left it in my apartment. I don't know but it just ended up in my makeup and I love it. So <laughs> I just topped off um, that NYX lip gloss with this one and it's just it's so cute. I love how it looks together. And I know this next part is about to look crazy, this right here, but I'm just doing that to make sure there's no like caked up lip gloss in my corner of my mouth like when I talk, cause I, that looks so gross to me. And then last, I'm just gonna go back in with this L'Oreal Match uh, Foundation. And I'm just going in to set the rest of my face. And then I think I'm gonna set my face with setting spray one more time. And then I'm pretty much done with makeup. Okay, I lied. So I actually went back in with that same Fenty Beauty bronzer and I'm just going in the creases of my eyes. I don't really do eyeshadow, so I'm just adding this just to give my eyes a little more color and, you know, just to bring out the shape of my eyes. 